Okay, I've been putting it off because I'm not very good at dance game type stuff, but we're going to try again. Okay, good. So let's see, both, both. Come on. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> this is torture. I'm no good at this. Huh. I I've suck still at got this. quite a bit to learn. Yes, I suck at this. Okay, good. Okay, I got no zero coordination. Okay. It's quite forgiving as well. Up and down, up and down, on both sides. Oh, God. <laughs> Almost. Just getting there. Ah, oh, that really wasn't that bad. Hmm. I think I'll go give that letter stamped. There must be some clues around. I'll have another go at it again. I've got it. I've got to do it. I'll just keep recording it till I do it. Ah, <sighs> where would I find? From the outside, there's nothing interesting. Must be something in here that I can stamp this envelope with. I'm sure it should be in here, like some kind of stamp or something. There you go. Hello. The stone rings carving appeared. of the night is very detailed, masterful. You can see every. I love that. The family seal shows a fox sitting on a pile of gold. How subtle. Indeed. Let's can we grab it? Let me grab it. The family seal shows a fox sitting on a pile of gold. Fine. Can I can I just put the letter on it then? Can't see anything. Right. There we go. Yeah. Let's see just how good the stonemason's work and she's was. she's watching the whole time. Hmm, looks pretty good. I'm guessing that looking through a blur of tears, you wouldn't notice anything odd. She's right there. How would she not notice? Oh, well, let's give her the love letter. I can hardly believe it. Uh, a messenger pigeon has just delivered another letter. That I made. Really? Oh, yes. There's even a seal. Maybe you recognize it. That's it. That's his seal. The illegible handwriting. All the spelling mistakes. This letter really is from him. Um, what's he say, then? There, there, there was a storm, and he, he wanted to come back to me, but he can't. Ah, you see, that explains everything. I have to go to him. Oh, deep joy! Um, what about the shield? Oh, yes! The fat ogres carried it away! They live in a cave nearby! Thanks, and good luck with the search. But always remember, the journey is the destination. Alright, so that's one thing done. So we now know where we might find it. Who are these ogres anyway? Hmm, no idea. Hmm. No idea what I should ask. Hmm. So now we just need to do that damn dance and get the uh get the body going. <sighs> Easier said than done. Let's give it another try then, shall we see how many times I fail? Okay, good. More with feeling. Ah! Okay, good. I was so close, I... 
Okay, good. Yes. Three, only three oh, no. stars. Three X's. <laughs> it worked. Quick, my darling. Take me to my body. Oh no. Untrepid here is, is fried. Hey, it's okay. I don't need any help. <laughs> Ungrateful zombie horde. Yeah, only took a couple of attempts. <laughs> oh man. I think but the problem was was uh, listening to the music too much and it's not in time because of course you got to do it wrong so I was, it was that and I just suck anyway oh look at the happy couple and you think it's funny seeing me smoke yep everything worked wonderfully <laughs> and not for the first time I'm asking what's going on with my armor and where's the sword hidden uh, but of course You'll find the armor in that grave over there. You ought to wash off that crumbly stuff before you use it, though. Ew. And you'll find the sword in the fiery mountain. Where's that? It's a volcano not far from here. The dwarves used to have a mine there. They gave it up years ago. But a dragon has recently moved in. Charming. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. So let's get the armor then. Let's just hope that there really is some usable armor in there. Yay! Armor! And bits of the previous owner. <laughs> Lovely. Before I put it on, I'll polish it. And clean the nastiest bits off it. Sounds like a plan, my man. Ta-da! Clothes maketh the man. Not bad. <laughs> now what do we do? Hmm. Hey, Gulliver. Ah, the living one. What happened to his body? <laughs> what? His body magically disappeared. Hey, Gulliver. Ah, the living one. That is bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. I'm sensing I'm breaking the game. <laughs> Oh dear. This is just, we didn't see that. We didn't see that 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 bug. Um I don't know where we go now. How are we gonna get to the to the fiery mountain thingy? I guess we could we could ask the Minotaur. Hey Thunderhoof, about this lightning dance. Well I've just done it. Thunderhoof? Oh, the mushroom. Hello, bully. <laughs> hmm. The guy seems to be out of it. Of course, he's Could be something to do mushroom. with my mushrooms. Take unidentified mushrooms, mixed up with a bunch of suspicious berries and paint, set it on fire, <laughs> and inhale the smoke. Not too much can go wrong with that. <laughs> Maybe he's uh, just having a little powwow with his ancestors. He'll come round soon. <laughs> I think my horned friend far, far away, but we'll be back soon, I hope. So he's not going to be much use, is he? Uh, he got feathers, some rotten boards, and a pompo monastery. What am I supposed to do with that? I guess we go to the orc camp and see if we can get in. We're supposed to use in the press. I haven't used anything in the press yet. Hello, chieftain. Greetings, human. There's no way I'm going to find a half-decent warrior around here, but I guess I could become one and win this stupid contest. The contest is this afternoon. How do you expect to learn the high art of combat before then? 
I'll get myself some invincible kit. Oh, the path of the talentless. A wise decision, I'd say. But you do realize I won't let you stroll in here with as much kit as you like, don't you? Don't worry, my stuff's going to be Ember. Oh, we'll see. Are you finally going to let me into your camp? Why? You're still a weak little worm. What about the warriors? I'm working on... Then come back when you... I'll be back! And I'll... So... Hmm. I am perplexed. Where do, how are we supposed to get to those places? Hmm. There's only three locations. Must be something we haven't done yet. Let's try it back down here. Oh, nothing down here. Note. Hmm. Well, I think we've done everything on this map, so... Let's check the actual map. So there's a dwarf. Dwarfs or dragon first? I think they're dwarfs first. In the abandoned mine shaft. Number one. Or is that number seven? What we got here? Let's have a look at the gap. Hmm, a fair drop. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Excuse me, young sir? May I ask what it is you're hoping to find in our cave? Oh, sorry. I was looking for a public toilet and it smelled a bit like one here. How unpleasant. Talk to Blout about that. He's responsible for personal hygiene this week. Hungry! Food! No! <laughs> and unfortunately that's all you think about. Sir, I must ask you to leave our modest dwelling. Okay, I'll look for somewhere outside. I'm very much obliged. Many bushes and trees out there would consider themselves most happy to offer their shelter for the call that nature is making to you. Good luck in your search. Okay. Apologies once again, young sir. I cannot countenance your rummaging around in our private things. Oh, I thought I... Apologies once again. Oh, I... So, we can't look at anything, it seems. Hmm. Strange plate. That's no plate. That's a shield. Probably the shield I'm looking for. Ah. The shield's covered in all kinds of unappetizing ogre food. The ogres don't seem to know that they've been abusing such a valuable object. I've somehow got to divert the ogres and get rid of the food. Hmm. Hmm. Some stone flagons. Whoa! Quadruple X! That's really strong. Four X. <laughs> Apologies once again, young sir. I cannot... Oh! The two-headed ogre is fat, like an... Hi there, you two. There's little human! Blout hungry! Are you a human eater? Hungry! Why, no. You will have to forgive Blout. He's very... emotional when he hasn't had anything to eat for half an hour. You're a battle mage, then, are you? No. Hit me. I hit people to death. <laughs> I think he meant me, Blout. It's true. I am a battle mage. My modesty prevents me from pointing out that I am one of the best. Of course, I'd be even better if I could study more. But, uh, oh well. That's a very interesting plate there. Dreadful, isn't it? All that fatty food. But Blout loves that rubbish. Blout! Hungry! I've told you a thousand times. You only get to eat once I've finished reading this book. 
Hungry now! If I let you eat now, then you'll put your greasy fingerprints all over the pages again. I get to choose what we do this afternoon. Blout was allowed to decide this morning. First he wanted to lie in, but then suddenly he didn't have enough time to eat. Tough luck. I am hungry! But I am not. <laughs> Could I, um, borrow the plate? My plate! My plate! I'm sorry, that's Blout's favourite plate. Because it's so big, he won't give you that. Who are you? Blout! Blout, really? My name is Zloth, from the Lightning Fist tribe. That's my good-for-nothing half-brother, Blout. Um, your half-brothers? Isn't that a little impossible? Not at all. The biology of two-headed ogres is very complex. As you may know, it can... Boring! Oh, really? That's just... It's okay. I don't really need to know all the details. I need to get going. See you two later. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there must be something we could do. Apologies once again. Uh oh! Apologies once. Uh oh! Can't I thought I was in another cave. Hmm. There was some high percentage stuff in there, but the flagons are all empty. I the shield's covered in all kinds of. So, I guess there's nothing... I wonder if we could talk to Zoff about it. Greetings, Zoff. Ah, well... What are you reading there, exactly? Oh, it's a really fascinating book about the newest developments in chain lightning research. You know, a mage always has to keep up to date. Unfortunately, I don't have many opportunities to read in peace. Blout doesn't think much of education. So that means when you do get time... Then I use it, and read the whole book at once, if I... I get it. You two seem very... One doesn't have much choice. And it's far from uncommon for two-headed ogres to have very different interests. Club to death! I bet you guys argue a lot. We have our rules. Blout specifies what we do in the morning, and I have the afternoons. I need to get going. See you next time. It was an absolute... So, talking to them doesn't seem to be helping. Hello, Blout. You, little human. That's right. You must be very hungry, Blout. That's a very, very big plate you've got there. Blout, big, hungry. Why don't you ask Zlof nicely once more if you can eat what's on his plate? Zlof not let me, and Zlof make chain lightning. You mean he can defend himself? Hmm, as long as he's reading that book, you can't use your hands? Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, you are one smart guy, Blout. Blout? Uh, can't you get Zloth to stop reading? Zloth always reading, till book finished. And there's nothing that stops him reading? <sighs> Zloth like drink cocktails, ogre cocktails. Okay, and then what? He drunk very quick. You mean he can't hold his liquor, and he gets too drunk to keep reading. Hmm, interesting. Do you get drunk fast too, Blout, like Zloff does? No. Blout drink much more than Zloff. Blout real <laughs> main ogre. But you share the same body. Yeah? So? Ah, oh, nothing.
I could make you an ogre cocktail. How would you like that? Blow like beer. Yeah, I know, but the cocktail's mainly for Zloth. Why? So he gets drunk. And then? Then you can chow down on that snack there. Ooh, okay. Right. What makes a good ogre cocktail? Alcohol. Alcohol, okay. And what else? An umbrella. <laughs> An ogre cocktail is made of nothing but alcohol? And umbrella. And what kind of alcohol? Wine? Vodka? Whatever. Must blow your head off. So, high octane alcohol in a glass with an umbrella. Classy. Little human can look in cave. Do you have the ingredients? Uh -huh. I have to leave. My stomach's grumbling. Hungry! So he says we can look in the cupboard now. Young sir, those are oh, our private on. belongings. All of the ab Blout gave me permission. Yeah. Little humor bait cocktail for Zloth. Really? What a delightful surprise. I thank you most cordially. No problem, Fatso. He meant you. <laughs> Yay, we can finally access the stuff. That seems to be some kind of storage cupboard. Let's have a look inside. Sure, there should be some ingredients. A small, colorful cocktail umbrella. Who'd have thought that there'd be a market for these here in the wildlands? <laughs> One cocktail umbrella. Fantastic. Alright. And there's no alcohol left in those things, I guess. So let's have a look what's in the sack. A tied up linen sack. The contents probably need to be protected from birds and rats. The sack is full to the brim with apples. Hmm, they're all damp and rotten. They smell like they're fermenting. Hmm. So we've got something potentially to use to make some cider. Uh. Ah, I would have expected a, a larger cocktail glass. This one's more human-sized. <laughs> is that going to be enough to get Zloth drunk? You'll have to do. Hmm. And last we got a hose. A piece of hose. Over a meter long and anything but clean. I don't even want to think about what the ogres might use it for. Okay, anything else? This club is almost a meter and a half long and probably weighs a hundred. I wouldn't like getting one of those on my head, or anywhere else for that matter. I'll leave it here. Probably couldn't even lift it a- Fair enough. And they stopped showing the booze up, so that must be a red herring. Right, well I think I know what we do. Um... There's nothing else, no. I think we need to use the press at the, uh... At the orc camp. So... To here, I think? Yeah, to the ogre camp. Or the orc camp, I should say. Uh, they have a press, if you remember. I certainly remember they've got press. If we can press the apples, but I'm not sure how we're gonna collect them. Maybe use the holes on it? No? No, that didn't work. That worked. So let's do it. Mmm, tasty. Fermented apple juice. But I'd better not drink it. Okay. The alcohol isn't strong enough. The bottles in the cave had four axes. Hmm. How can we make it stronger? Got some hose, cocktail glass. Okay. I think 
think there's anything else here. Ferment it in the pot. If I tipped the juice into the hot pot, then everything would turn to steam, and that would be the end of my juice. Oh. The coals are just glow. Hmm. I think my horned friend is off on a spirit far, far away, but we'll be back soon. Sits nice and firm. Whatever's in the pot will evaporate, condense, and be drawn oh. off in the hose. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was just clicking random stuff. Great. Well, okay. There we go. Ah, something's happening. And done. The bowl has filled up with an almost clear liquid. The alcohol's not strong enough yet for an ogre cocktail, but I can distill it again. And again. <laughs> that looks a lot better already. The alcohol isn't strong enough. Ah, yes, so that's to be four times. The alcohol times. isn't four times. That ought to do. Ogre's strength, there we go. Now just missing the sophisticated decoration. And the umbrella. Come on. High proof alcohol and a cocktail umbrella. <laughs> Voila! One ogre cocktail. Nice. Let's go give it to them. I've got a cocktail for you, Zloff. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Wait a minute. You're trying to trick me, aren't you? No. Huh? You want to get me drunk so I can't read anymore? Us? Never. But you won't get me like that. I'll just take tiny sips. Then I won't get drunk and can continue reading. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish reading? No, I. Impressive. <laughs> Gross, but impressive. Brown's still hungry. What? Hungry! Brown must hunt! Okay. <laughs> Hello, Blout. You, little cute. That's right. And how do you get on with hunting? Have you ever caught anything? Not yet, but soon. What do you hunt then? Everything. Uh huh. <laughs> You and your half-brother, don't you guys get along too well? Love is stupid. Uh-huh. Always reading. Never fun. Never break things. He's more the intellectual type. Sloth, not real man. Sloth never had girlfriend. <laughs> I heard that. Um, oh no, <laughs> disappeared, what's going on? Uh, I have to leave, my stomach's grumbling. Hungry! <laughs> the invisible ogre, oh dear. I wonder why it's doing that. 
I'd better leave him in peace. He might not be too happy with me. <laughs> How are we sp can we get past these guys? I'll just try and random stuff again. Oh, it's gonna okay, act then. as a Let's lure. Okay, then. Let's try it. It's gonna try and lure him with the pom pom. <laughs> yeah, colorful, fluffy bunny. <laughs> Don't stop it, Blout. Something's wrong here. Just got to break shell. <laughs> Little humans see colorful, fluffy bunny, right? Uh, nope. I told you, there isn't such a thing. You get none when it caught. Oh, I get it. The gap, the rotten boards. So simple. Good. I'll lay the boards over the opening of the crevice. Trap. The rotten boards won't support much weight. One step on them and they'll give way. That's mean. It's a shame. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I guess we have to. Oh, uh, I hope they don't get too hurt. I okay, mean, I know they're ogres, Let's but still. It. Off you go then. Yeah! Colorful, fluffy bunny! Do stop it, Blout. Something's wrong here. Just got to break shell. Ah! <laughs> A fluffy bunny, I presume. <laughs> How can anyone be so stupid? They survived them. Hungry. Go into the corner and be ashamed of yourself. I'll come up with something. <laughs> Way's clear. Let's go cool, then. One shield of power. Got it at last. Finally, you got me. Ah! There. You, you <laughs> can talk. Sure. You too. Thank you very much for getting me out of there. It's no fun swimming around in hot gravy all day. Then again, it's also no fun being constantly hit by swords and axes. <laughs> I hope you're not a warrior. Me? Nah, I just want to look like one. If you only want to look like one, then that's fine. Just don't fight. The pen is mightier than the sword and hurts less. <sighs> so we've got a shield and we've got an armor, so... The and then... A shield that could talk as well. I'd better keep myself a good ways away from them. I don't want to get zapped by any of Zloth's lightning. Good point. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Anyway, so we've got the armor and we've got the shield. And next episode, hopefully, we'll get the sword as well from the dragon. Thanks for joining me once again, guys. It's been really funny this episode. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of dragon we'll bump into. So, see you next time for that, guys.